The main mission of Alpro Health is to reduce and decrease obesity in Alabama. We have 14 counties that are high risk in terms of adult obesity, and that means that they have 40% or more adult obesity. And so through a grant with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention to the Alabama Cooperative Extension Service through Auburn University, we work with evidence-based strategies to reduce the incidence of obesity. Alpro Health works with 14 communities in Alabama through a really neat mechanism. It's all grassroots driven and it's done by coalition members working together to identify issues that they have in their county and then what strategies they want to use to implement and to make the reduction in obesity. What's kind of unique about it is that they're all 14 rural communities. So a lot of the evidence-based strategies have not really been done in rural communities. They're typically done in urban areas. So it's a really unique trial that we have going on in Alabama. Alpro Health has worked with 14 counties to look at initiatives to address for its food access and physical activity. Some of those activities that we have addressed have been things like working to enhance um, existing parks. We have also looked at enhancing food banks, making food healthier in some of the food pantries. We also have established existing farmers market or even have put in place farmers markets in some of the 14 counties. So we are striving to make food more accessible, affordable, and healthier for people to have a place to exercise and be able to take in family engagement activities. Alpro Health encourages their counties to participate by making sure that we have um, movers and shakers at the table. And what I mean by that, community leaders, uh, community representatives from each of the communities. Those community leaders are invited to be engaged in workshops, trainings, and so forth. And with that in part, we try to make sure each community has a, has a, a face at the table to make sure those initiatives are addressed. So we try to engage everyone from community leaders to city leaders to civic groups, um, faith-based organizations, anyone who's willing to be involved. Alpro Health has, has affected the city of Ufala by uh, providing uh, funding that has created these wonderful uh, opportunities for our citizens to uh, get out, uh, spend quality time with their family, and uh, get some great exercise. Some of the great projects that they've worked on is, is our Playground of Dreams. We're also working on a new splash pad. Our farmer's market program has been excellent. Hopefully there'll be more funding so we can work on more projects that, that, that help our community and county. Alpro Health has helped community gardens by being the vital piece to start the community gardens. Community and school gardens are crucial to a healthy community. School gardens are important, especially to teach our youth about farming. Over the years, we've kind of lost that, and this way it shows them hands-on where the food comes from, how it's grown. Students in the community and their parents give community hours by helping plant, harvest. Alpro Health has really helped school gardens, community gardens by funding. Partnering with Extension really helps out because you have a lot of people that's experts, and they can kind of help us out as far as what to plant, when to plant, what diseases to treat of the plant, and they have that expertise where they can really help us out. The Cooperative Extension is a national program sponsored by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And there's probably a county extension office located in every single county in the United States. Our goal is to improve the quality of life of citizens through education and other types of initiatives. Extension has all the resources to reach the community, and all the professionals needed to small communities like this one to make communities stronger. Alpro Health has really come along and made the counties in Alabama, I just won't say the counties, the state of Alabama a better place to live. We have really addressed a lot of initiatives that some um, agencies have not been able to tackle, but through our agency we have been able to do that. And along those lines we're going to take one strategy at a time and continue to work towards the goal and that is to have Alabama not in that top percentile for obesity. The future is bright for Alpro Health. It's, it's really neat to see all these pockets of change going on in Alabama. And you know, someday all these changes, these pockets are slowly gonna to bleed together and our whole culture is gonna be a healthier culture and we're gonna live well in Alabama.